Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World. My name is Daniel Rosal. this is my little tech corner here on YouTube. And today I thought I would do another video about um, optical media. I'm currently doing my archiving for 2023, which is why I am thinking about this. I'm also uh, looking at sort of getting into different forms of optical media just to have the different types on hand. I just ordered some archival CDs and archival DVDs to complement the M discs, which is what I use for the vast majority of my backup needs. And I'm just making sure everything is nicely archived. All my data from 2023 that I don't need anymore uh, has gone off to archive. Just remember that an archive is not the same thing as a backup. But um, I find archiving very useful for my needs as a, a content creator. I hate to use that word, but I guess it kind of describes a lot of a lot of what I put out to backup uh, is podcasts, uh, photo galleries, videos, different forms of content, occasionally articles that I write as well. I'll put those into my backup um, system, basically, which is really stuff on my NAS that when it reaches the capacity gets moved on to optical. So today I'm going to look at the price comparison between the different forms of what are called archival optical media. I just want to make the point um, that I, for those who didn't watch my previous videos on the subject that archival is not a controlled term. It's a marketing claim. So the different disc manufacturers, uh, thanks to whoever corrected my pronunciation, I was calling uh, Maxell Max Maxwell, which I think is a brand of tea as as well as a few other things. So there's Verbatim, Maxell, Sony, and a few others. And uh, they usually produce a disc like a CDR, a regular CDR. And then they produce something what they call archival grade. And that varies a little bit what they do. Some play around with the die, using different types of die, um, which for non-M-Discs traditional optical media is uh, is how the data is stored, but that die is subject to decomposition, which is the threat to data on optical. The threat to data on um, HDD and SDD is magnetism, and on optical it is die degradation, basically, for the most part, as well as, of course, physical damage. Uh, they add uh, gold layers to make the actual data storing layer more impervious, stuff like that, different techniques. There are people on Reddit and other forums who are really, really knowledgeable about the actual material science that goes into making these discs. They know a lot more than me, so I'll just, I'll just leave it at that, just to say that this is generally what is intended by archival, but it's not a, um, as I said, it's not a controlled control terminology. So I said I have to answer two questions in the course of this video, and I thought I would share, share what I found with people interested. Number one is looking at CDs versus DVDs and BD and Blu-rays, the three categories of optical media, the three main categories, is are you being penalized for using CDs? People might think using CDs is crazy, um, but you know, some people still use them, especially in uh, if your data is typically less than one gig, why not? Uh, DVDs are also used and Blu-rays. So basically my question was, which is cheaper per gigabyte? And secondly, the second question I wanted to answer was regarding M-Discs, there's three types of Blu-rays. There is the 25 gig BDRs, there's the 50 gig uh, Blu-ray dual layer, and there's the 100 gig Blu-ray quad layer BDXL. And my question was, is it cheaper to use the 100 gig um, M discs. So just to just to show you guys the mathematics I used, my formula was like this. My workings were like this to figure out the capacity of each product. I multiplied the discs um, in the spindle, or you can also, of course, just use the discs in the jewel, whatever. However, the product is is distributed times the capacity in gigabytes, and that yielded total data that you're buying in gigabytes. And then to calculate how much each gigabyte cost, I took the price in cents. And I uh, divided that by the capacity, the total capacity in gigabytes, which you got from the previous calculation. And that yields a figure of cents per, uh, per gigabyte. In other words, how much money are you paying for each gig of data? So that, that was my uh, working. So let's start with uh, archival CDR. We looked at this product in the last video. It's a verbatim product. It's uh, labeled under, um, they call this Ultra Life. Uh, gold archival, they're lovely little, lovely looking things. They have a nice little gold layer on the underside. Uh, they're not M discs. M discs have never made CDs. They just did DVDs and Blu-rays. But these are, this is blue. This is Verbatim's archival product for CDR. 
they are 700 megs per disc so that's that's uh, 0 0.7 gigs of course um, and uh, they sell them in this big spindle of 50. So the total capacity that you're buying with this product at the price I got on Amazon today, and just to make point out, these prices may change. And I also ignored sales. If there were any sales on, I just took the original price on Amazon. Um, so the $80.40 is what, uh, what I can buy them for, where I'm based on Amazon.com. And uh, the total capacity is 0 0.7 times 50, 35 gigs. 230 over 35 equals $2.30 per gigabyte. So this is actually by far the most, I'll give the spoiler alert, this is by far the most expensive uh, media form that I found was um, was the CDs. So yes, uh, you're actually paying a lot more for your storing your data if you choose to go down the archival CD route. Um, and uh, I'm just looking, yeah. Okay, so the next one is archival DVDs. Uh, so this is not the M-Disc, this is verbatim's product they call it ultra life gold archival grade dvd r with the hard coat uh it's gold on the underside but it's not an m disc importantly m disc is its own uh sort of novel um novel type of media this is just they use i think people i'm sure the i'm sure they say on the product description what verbatim ultra life is but they use um probably some 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 kind of different materials on the hard coat so $170 $107.66 is the price I got the total capacity here is 4.7 gigs per disc multiply that by 50 you get a figure of um, 235 gigs um, and dividing the uh, retail price by the total data capacity yields a figure of 0 0.46 um us dollars per gigabyte so just under 50 cents per gig and yes by the way i did a video like a year ago about the the how much the cost comparison between hdd uh hard drives and optical and everyone knows optical is more expensive on a per gigabyte data and certainly compared to lto i think lto is the cheapest data storage medium of all tape um certainly a lot cheaper than optical but people who are archiving an optical aren't doing so for price reasons. Generally, we're doing so for um, cold storage. So we start to see a, a big saving when we get into, when we start using BDR. And this is actually the cheapest product of this whole comparison. This is Verbatim's product called Data Life Plus. It is a 50 gig uh, BDR DL. Um, it's priced at $89.17. The total capacity here is 50 gigs multiplied by 25 discs. That yields a figure of 1,250 gigs, which is, of course, 1.25 terabytes. Uh, doing the division here, we get a price per gigabyte of only $0.07. Cent, so that is the cheapest. So uh, these are not M discs. These are Data Life Plus, and you can read um, about what makes that technology different uh, according to verbatim now let's look at m disc so this is the 25 uh, gigabyte m disc the smallest uh, blu-ray capacity it is 64 dollars 99 um for the 25 spindle on amazon at the time i'm i did the search uh, the total data capacity here is 25 gigs by 25 equals 625 gigabytes and uh, the price per gigabyte worked out to 10 cent us 10.3984 to be exact. Um, next, we have the M Disc uh, Dual Layer, the 50 gig product, $134.39 for uh, that product today on Amazon. Uh, the total capacity you're buying here is 50 gigs times 25 equals 1250 gigs equals 1.25 terabytes. And the price here is 0 0.11 rounding up. Uh, which is 11 cents per gigabyte, uh, 10.75, I rounded that up. And the last one we had was 10.39. So it's mar it's actually marginally more expensive per gigabyte if you buy the uh, 50 GB product, but um, you know it's not a very big difference. It's a difference of of uh, less than one cent per gigabyte. And finally, the, <coughs> excuse me, the um, BDXL, so $260.12 for the, um, 100 gig 25 spindle uh, which is a total capacity here of 2.5 terabytes or 2500 gigs and doing the numbers that was 10.4048 cent per gigabyte so i just rounded that to 10 so 10.40 uh so actually the cheapest by a very very by a hair's breath 
is actually within mdisks is actually the 25 gig mdisks so just to summarize what we found on our a little project here looking at the non mdisk archival grade storage media cds are the most expensive dvds are less are less and uh, it's cheaper for bdr Within the M disks, we didn't see much variation. They're all about 10 cents per gigabyte thereabouts. So what can we conclude from this? Uh, basically, for M disk uh, archival grades, for non M disk archival grade storage, the cheapest is to go with the BDR. And if you're buying M disks, you're not really saving a lot, actually anything, by using the 100 gig ones. Hope that was useful. If you've always, if you've wondered about the price of uh, optical archival media. Thank you for watching today's video and if you'd like to get more tech videos from me, do consider subscribing here on YouTube.